Hi, Cinematic Recap here, today I will show you an action, fantasy film from 2016, titled The Great Wall. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. A long time ago in the outer edges of China, a group is being chased by the warriors of Mongolia. In order to escape from the enemies, the leader William tells his men to cut loose the horses in order to lure the scavengers away, giving them the opportunity to run. At night, while trying to recover from the earlier fight, the men reveals that they are mercenaries here to find the mysterious black powder. Their journey has been perilous from the very beginning, losing more than 20 of their men in the process and leaving little resources left. Just when they're contemplating about retreat, a creature from the shadow attacks the group and kills all the remaining warriors, leaving only William and his friend Tovar behind. The animal circles back again to attack, but William is able to strike the monster down and cut off its arm. Not sure about what they just killed, the two decides to leave immediately as their campsite is obviously not safe anymore. They continue traveling the next day, but is quickly found by the Mongolian once again, forcing them to run for their lives as the enemies chase closely behind. The two eventually arrive in front of the Great Wall on the outskirts of China, and is quickly stopped by a barrage of arrows that barely misses them. With little choices left, William decides to surrender to the Chinese instead of being captured by the Mongolians, hoping that the former can spare their lives. The commanders of the Great Wall are shocked to see the giant claw that William has brought with him, and Commander Lin demands to know where the main character has acquired it. When they hear the man say that he killed the monster by himself, the Chinese commanders laugh at William mockingly, not believing a single word he said. However, strategist Wang thinks that the foreigner's stories may be real, as the men's weapons and clothing are covered in the creature's blood. Before they can decide on the two men's fates, a scout rushes in and reports that they have spotted enemies from the observation towers, rushing towards the wall in great numbers. General Xiao immediately orders the armies to get ready for battle, and the two men are quickly taken onto the wall, where a large army of soldiers in colorful armor stand by for the siege. William is amazed to see the glory of the army, as the soldiers all work together perfectly despite their different roles, which are indicated by their armor's colors. What stands out from the rest of the of army are the soldiers in blue, which are led by Commander Lin and composed of only women. They all march towards the edge of the wall and prepares to battle by using the giant spears. The soldiers all wait patiently for the enemies to come, and their attentions are quickly drawn towards the far distance as a horde of green monsters charges towards the wall. General Xiao quickly orders for the artilleries to attack, and numerous fireballs are thrown into the air by the massive machines, heading directly towards the enemies and creating a sea of flames upon impact. The archers also begin firing at the monsters, showering them with a barrage of arrows that cover the entire sky, killing many of the creatures while they rush in without hesitation. The monsters roar furiously as they run closer towards the giant wall, eventually reaching the base despite the onslaught of arrows. The women in blue armors begin to drop down towards the creatures, striking the enemies using their spears whilst the men quickly pull them back up. Despite their tremendous efforts, many of the soldiers are killed by the monster as they're eaten alive. Very soon, the queen of the monsters arrive in the far distance together with her numerous bodyguards, in order to command the battle more effectively. Strategist Wang sees this and tells the general, who orders the artilleries to fire directly towards the queen, but the bodyguards are able to block the attacks quickly, protecting their leader in the process. The queen roars furiously towards the humans and begins communicating with her minions, ordering them to change their strategy and use their bodies to climb the walls. The monsters are able to climb the structure very quickly and begins mauling the soldiers, throwing them off the wall using incredible strength. William desperately tries to break free with Tovar after seeing the dangers, and surprisingly, they are released by another foreigner named Ballard who cuts their ropes immediately. A young soldier named Peng sees his comrades being killed, and rushes in to attack the creature despite his fear, but gets pushed back easily by the giant monster. Before the young man can be killed by the voracious creature, William jumps in the air and grabs onto a spear, charging at the creature and stabs it right in the mouth. The monster pushes the man backwards as it roars continuously, but William is able to stab it again with Tovar's help, and the two kills the creature by piercing its heart. Tovar takes a red cape on the ground and begins attracting another monster like a bull, causing the creature to charge directly at the man, but this allows William to kill it by using an arrow and barely escapes the blinded creature as it launches for the last time. After seeing so many of its minions killed, the queen orders the creatures to retreat by using her sound waves, making the monsters fall back as they carry the bodies of their fallen comrades away, preventing the humans to learn anything about them. The Chinese commanders approach the westerners after the victory, 
and the two men drop their weapons immediately to show their cooperation. General Shao praises their bravery for aiding with the battle, and decides to offer them a living quarter instead of locking them up. The young soldier Peng goes to William right after the siege, and thanks the man for saving his life instead of leaving him for dead. The two also meets Ballard, the man who freed them earlier, and it turns out that he was also here looking for the black powder 25 years ago, but is kept hostage as a teacher of English ever since. The old man shows the two the mysterious black powder that they were looking for, and assures William that there's more than enough for all three of them. Ballard proposes that they leave as soon as the siege begins, so that they can be riding away while the battle rages. Before their conversation can finish, strategist Wang calls them for an urgent meeting as he found a magnet inside the their belongings. Wang believes that the stone was the reason why William was able to kill the monster so easily during their first encounter, as the magnet may have interfered with the creature's mind. It turns out that the monsters are called Tao Tice, and they landed on Earth 20 centuries ago from outer space. Ever since that day, the creatures rise every 60 years to attack from the north of China, trying to devour everything so they can feed their queen in order to multiply. The capital of China has 2 million people and is only about 300 miles away from the wall. If the creatures obtain such large amounts of nourishments, their numbers would explode, spreading to every corners of the world. At the same time, General Xiao has noticed missing personnel at the West Towers, and proceeds to investigate alongside Commander Lin. The soldiers go into their formations, but the men are surprised that the monsters have purposely left the bodies, instead of devouring them as food. The soldiers march forwards after noticing one of the creatures in front of them, but General Xiao also sees the reflections of a second Tao Te from behind, trying to ambush the team. The two monsters attack them simultaneously, and the general tries to fend off the Tao Te from behind but ends up mortally wounded by the creature after trying to save Commander Lin. The entire army arrives soon after, but it was too late to save their leader. With his last breath, General Xiao declares Lin to be his successor, and warns her to never underestimate the monster's intelligence ever again. A massive funeral is orchestrated as the people mourn for their leader's death, sending numerous candles flying in the air to light the way for General Xiao as he enters the afterlife. Very soon, Envoy Shen from the Emperor of China has come to the walls, bringing records of the encounters with the monsters from 60 years ago. Apparently, the previous general recorded that the creatures became paralyzed after chasing the soldiers onto a mountain, where a magnet is also present similar to William's. In order to verify how the magnet actually affects the creatures, William suggests that they capture a Tao Te by using a hook, similar to how a whale is captured, but Tovar is extremely unhappy with his friend's proposed involvements reminding him of their plan to escape with the black powders. Strategist Wang begins concocting a large amounts of anesthetics and putting them on the hooks, preparing to capture one of the creatures alive. Very soon, the Tao Tice begin to arrive in masses while they try to sneak onto the wall, and the soldiers defend against the monsters by attacking in their formation. Giant blades protrude from the walls and cuts the creatures into pieces, while the warriors attack the Tao Te furiously as they fight on the edges of the building. Lin orders to fire the harpoons, and the giant hooks launch towards the enemies, hitting many of the monsters and trapping them with the chains. However, the creatures soon realize the people's intentions to capture them, and begins ripping apart the hooks, all breaking free from the restraints except for one. At the same time, Ballard is trying to convince Tovar to leave the wall right now while the battle is in place, but the man refuses to abandon his friend. William is also contemplating about abandoning the Chinese army, but in the last moment, decides to return and help the commanders capture the last Tao Te that's in chains. In order to isolate the creature from the others, the army fires numerous bombs around the monster, creating a field of flames that surrounds the entire area. Realizing that the chains won't last much longer, William drops down into the fields by sliding across the metals and finding the monster unconscious on the ground. He ties the creature up so that it can retrieve, but is quickly attacked by hostile enemies as he tries to fight for his life. Luckily, the man is saved from the ambush as Tovar appears to the rescue, saving William in the process and blaming the man for not following their plans to escape. Their arguments are interrupted when more Tao Tice begin to attack from the fogs, but the two are able to kill the creatures together by using their teamwork and shooting the monsters in the eyes. As the fight continues, the monsters begin to bypass the wall of flames and surrounds the men in large numbers, charging directly at them, but the Chinese army is able to fire numerous bombs at the location killing the Tao Tais with explosions and saving the men's lives. They quickly put the giant beast inside a cage and begins experimenting the magnet's effects on the creature. Surprisingly, 
As Wang approaches the monster alongside the rock, the creature eventually stops moving altogether, proving the effects of the stone. Envoy Chen demands to bring the Tao Te to the Emperor right away despite Wang's protest, but the order came directly from the king himself. After the envoy leaves the wall, the army detected more movements from the monsters at the base of the building, and begins to investigate as the armies descend into the bottom. To their shock, the creatures have dug a giant hole through the base of the wall, using the previous battles as nothing more than ploys to blindsight the armies. Meanwhile, Ballard and Tovar are stealing the black powders and plans escape the Great Wall as the armies are busy investigating the monsters, but they're stopped by William, who wants his friend to stay and fight for a greater cause. Tovar believes that William is blinded by optimism as he thinks that the people have no chance against the monsters' armies. While they are arguing, Ballard knocks the main character unconscious, telling Tovar to leave his friend behind as this would be their only chance to run. General Lin soon discovers the escape of the Westerners and is furious at William for his betrayal, despite the man claiming to have tried to stop his friend. Her anger is only tempered when she hears the young warrior Peng, who vouches for William as he claims to have witnessed the man trying to stop the escapees. She orders to have the traitors captured right away, and locks William in a cell so that he can no longer interfere with the army's plans. In order to catch up with the hordes of Tao Tice, Lin decides to use the hot balloons as a method for travel, but the inventions are not tested and poses great danger for its users. Numerous people died as they try to ascend into the skies by using the black powders as fuels for the vehicles, leaving only a handful of soldiers heading towards the capital. Peng releases William soon after, and the man rushes to the outside where he meets Wang, demanding to know what's going on. The strategist tells him that they have failed to prevent the Tao Tais from breaching the walls, and the general has ordered for his release, as she heads towards the capital herself. Wang tells William that the only chance they have now is to kill the queen, as her death would also disable all her minions. Instead of leaving like Wang suggested, William decides to go after Lin so that they can save humanity from being destroyed. At the same time, General Lin has arrived inside the capital, only to see that the place is overrun by the voracious creatures. They try to make it to the palace, but are quickly attacked by numerous Tao Tais and grounded by the creatures while they desperately fight for their lives. Lin is quickly surrounded by the monsters as they roar furiously at the woman, but before she is killed, William arrives to her rescue and grabs her into the air, using the grenades to repel the monsters as they fly into the palace. They are able to retrieve the Tao Te that was captured earlier and Wang decides to load the creature with bombs. They plan to travel inside the sewers and feed the monster, before releasing it towards the queen so that they have a chance to kill her by using the explosives. However, their plan doesn't go smoothly as the creatures have discovered their location, and kills the majority of their team, leaving the young warrior Peng wounded but still alive. Suddenly, numerous Tao Tais charge into the underground tunnels, and Peng decides to sacrifice himself by blowing up the grenades, killing the monsters and blocking the pathway as well. Not having any time to mourn, Wang quickly opens the doors to the outside and they release the monster that's tied up with bombs. The creature wakes up immediately after the magnet was removed, and just like they planned, it begins devouring the meat that was provided and runs to the outside, trying to give it to its queen. The three arrives inside a tower, and Wang stays behind to guard the door using the magnet, as William runs to higher grounds with Lin, trying to get a clear shot at the bombs. The man launches the arrow at the queen, but the bodyguards are able to block off the attack as it bounces off and explodes in the air, alerting the monsters in the process. William quickly goes up the tower to try again, but the queen orders all her minions to attack the buildings, causing all the Tao Tais to rush inside, as Wang throws the magnet towards his teammates before being devoured alive. The man tries to shoot a second time, but it was still blocked by the creatures and the arrow explodes in the air, allowing the queen to finally see her attackers and orders all her minions towards them. With only a single bomb left, the two leaps out from the windows as they swing from the ropes, evading the Tao Tais that jumps towards them from behind. William tosses the magnet at the bodyguards and Lin throws the spear closely behind, allowing the stone to delay the movements of the creatures as the bomb lands inside the barrier. The queen tries desperately to put out the flames, but a large explosion destroys everything inside, sending all the creatures flying in the air. As the queen dies, all the Tao Tais are immobilized and crashes towards the ground, leaving thousands of bodies in the palace as the humans are finally victorious. Sometimes later, William rides back to the Great Wall, and find his friend Tovar in the holding cells after being captured by the Chinese army. He tells the man that the emperor gave him a choice between Tovar's life or the powders, 
but William chose to save his friend, realizing that friendship is more valuable than any material gains. He rides off into the, the far distance alongside the army's escorts, while General Lin looks at him from the walls to express farewell. William looks back as well before he leaves, and has a good feeling that he'll come back to this place in the future. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.